So, um, it appears, and uh, this is according to reports, it appears that the, uh, the prosecutors and the police have had inconclusive amounts of evidence in regards to the Althea Bernstein case, or Bernstein case, whatever it is, I forget, I don't know, um, and here's an, an article from the Associated Press. Now, I covered this story when this first happened because I am a news and commentary channel, right? I'm not a journalist. I don't vet stories. I don't like do the, do, like I'm not, that's not my position. That's other people's jobs. I delegate it to them. I am a news commentary channel. I'm a podcaster. I'm a comedian. That's where, my, that's where I'm at, all right? So I'm not going to, when I see a story, do a deep dive, right? I'm not going to search the depths of 4chan to find any potential rebuttals because I don't care, right? If a story is proven to be false, you know what my opinion is? Okay, cool. I don't give a shit. So I have gotten, and I shit you not, thousands of views and thousands of comments from people that want to inform me that this is a hoax. And this is the link that they're sending me that is apparently supposed to inform me that this case is a hoax, a fake hate crime. Now, I have read this article and I've read a few other articles and there is no evidence that it's a hoax, right? There's no evidence it's a fake hate crime. And I know that's going to trigger people, all right? But the lack of evidence is not evidence of a hoax, all right? That's something to be crucially understood. Um, now, do I think that the story that this person described as described is 100% accurate? I don't know. I don't care. Probably not. But that doesn't mean all of a sudden that she's an evil mastermind. And this was this is really what's bizarre with the 4chan alt-right wing people. is like they will attach themselves to a news story like a parasite or a leech, right? And they will follow it for years and years and years and years. And like normal people go like, what? Because they probably never read the news to begin with. But even somewhat news savvy people will go like, oh, yeah, that thing that happened a couple years ago. Oh, it's not real. Oh, OK. They don't care. Like but right wingers will like create like a, a, a like an identity around it. Like this is like like they'll wear it as a badge of honor. Yes, I found the hoax. Like 15 years ago, I discovered something wasn't 100 percent true. It's like, OK, I'm happy for you. I'm glad that can you can do your detective work and feel satisfied with your life. But at the end of the day, who cares? All right? This person, like, if if it is a hoax, if it's a it's a fake hoax, I don't know what they gained. Right? Did they gain a lot of money? I don't I didn't see a GoFundMe. I don't know. So anyway, this is from the Associated Press. There's not enough evidence to prove that a group of white men set a young biracial woman on fire during a chaotic night of protests in Wisconsin's capital city this summer, federal prosecutors said, said Friday. Detectives were unable to find any surveillance video that shows the alleged attack taking place, but they did find footage indicating the woman wasn't in the city at the time she says she was attacked, according to the investigative reports. Althea Bernstein... Or is it Bernstein? I'm not sure. 18 told police she was attacked by four white men while driving through a protest in downtown Madison around 1 a.m. on June 24th. Bernstein says she was stopped at a red light when she heard someone yell a racial slur and one of the men sprayed her with lighter fluid and threw an open window and threw her open window and threw a flaming lighter at her, setting her neck and face on fire. She drove away put out the flames and was treated for burns at the hospital, she said. Now, now again, this could be incorrect. And honestly, it probably is. But one of the things that I've been getting so many comments, again, thousands of views, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. Maybe I haven't topped the thousand comments of the last 24, 36 hours, but I've gotten a fuckload, okay? And people are saying that she was rioting and looting. She's a rioter and a looter. She's an arsonist. She set herself on fire. She's rioting and looting. That is their takeaway. Now, these articles that I have read have showed that she was nowhere near protests. Now, she was also not at the place she said that the attack took place, but she also 
via the surveillance camera footage was not anywhere near a protest. So the idea that you're going to say it's a hoax, it's a hoax, she did it herself, she's a rioter and she's a looter, it's a hoax. The idea that you're going to say that when that's equally unfounded to what you're saying her claim can't be believed because it's unfounded, there's no evidence, your claim is equally unfounded. So it's bizarre to me that you're going to die on a hill of saying it's a hoax, it's a fake hate crime, she's a rioter, she's a looter, she's an arsonist, Antifa BLM. That's not true. Okay, there's no evidence that says that. A team of federal, state, and local investigators probed the allegations as a possible hate crime. On Friday, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Madison issued a statement saying the investigation was closed without charges filed. The statement said investigators conducted extensive interviews as well as an exhaustive review of traffic and surveillance cameras as well as digital and forensic evidence and couldn't establish that the attack occurred. Madison Acting Police Chief Vic Wall issued his own statement saying detectives were unable to locate evidence consistent with what was reported. Bernstein, or is it Bernstein? I'm not sure. Bernstein's family issued a three-sentence statement through the police, the Madison Police Department saying that they appreciated the, the, appreciated the investigator's work. Althea Bernstein and her family appreciate the detailed investigation, investigative efforts by all involved in this case, the statement said. Althea's injuries are healing and the support of our community has been invaluable in that regard. We continue to maintain our family privacy and will not be granting interviews at this time. Now, again, I don't know if this person was doing media tours. I don't really care. I don't give a shit. I don't know if she was getting GoFundMes. I really don't get what you have to gain from perpetuating or per like, I don't get what you have to gain from this hoax, you know? Like, there's a hoax, right? Okay. Awesome. Next. All right, cool. According to investigative documents, Bernstein told the responding officer she is Hispanic and black. Someone also threw a Molotov cocktail into a government building and attempted to break into the Capitol, only to be repelled by pepper spray from the police stationed inside. The violence prompted Governor Tony Evers to activate the National Guard to protect state properties. Madison police on Friday released more than 150 pages of reports detailing the investigation. Traffic and surveillance camera footage shows Bernstein's vehicle stopped only once and that no one was around the car. The footage also shows that her window is closed throughout and that she was traveling in the right lane, not the left, as she told investigators. Now, it's totally possible, right? Again, I don't give a shit. I'm not dying on a hill here. I don't care, okay? Right? Like, I don't give a fuck, right? But at the same time, if you are going to say, all right, it's made up, that's fine. All right, I'm probably right there with you. But if you're going to say it's made up, therefore she's an Antifa BLM militant arsonist, Molotov cocktail throwing Antifa BLM rioter and looter, that is equally, if not more, like absolutely unhinged than the initial claim. But footage does show her in Middleton, a suburb about 15 minutes from downtown Madison. Just before 1 a.m. GPS data from her phone corroborates that as her location, the report said. An arson dog, that sounds epic, by the way, as much as I don't like police animals, because I think it's animal abuse, an arson dog found no trace of a lighter or other incendiary devices in her car, and investigators found the car wasn't damaged. Tests did reveal a substance consistent with lighter flu fluid on her shirt, however, and her medical records indicate she was treated for burns hours after the attack allegedly happened. When confronted by Detective Justine Harris in August, Bernstein said she didn't understand why there wasn't any evidence of the attack. She said she was worried about what might happen when the reports were made public saying she was made she was been she had been threatened on social media and that investigators were treating her like a suspect she stated i know what happened to me harris wrote harris told bernstein's attorney andrea sumter good name by the way during a meeting on Tuesday that no one planned to file any charges against Bernstein, saying there's no evidence she colluded with anyone to make false report and there's no evidence she was involved in any of the destruction during the protest now again if the right wing and all the comments I've been getting were just, okay, this is a hoax, you got you got trolled. All right, cool, awesome. I'm right there with you, awesome. But when you go as far as to say, and again, I've been getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments of people over the last 24, 36 hours saying she's an Antifa BLM rioter and she burned herself while rioting and looting. That makes no sense. There's no evidence of that, right? And it's just like... 
like how do you res okay it's a hoax right i get it how do you respond to a hoax with another hoax it's just weird to me have some consistency now again at the same time if she is lying that's bad but at the same time if she is lying the police could not find out how she was lying so to my understanding here maybe she was involved in a scuffle maybe she was on drugs who knows who cares next that's my official analysis i have nothing else to say i don't care that's all i'm sorry i don't give a shit <laughs> like i just don't care i'm so sorry we got a cringer in here i'm not saying she was a rioters just that it is a lie and people screaming white supremacy or idiot okay so again one person faking a hate crime automatically means that the thousands and thousands and thousands of documented hate crimes over the history of this country are false what what like that doesn't there's no through line there like i don't get it it's bizarre why would you make a video on something you don't care about other than money uh -huh. that's a good question i don't have an answer <laughs> thank you for answering it for me the only reason i'm making a follow-up is because of the money that's like that's it 100 percent um i don't give a shit um but i know that this video is going to get views and i know i'm going to make at least a couple bucks off of it and it's like okay i'll spend 15 minutes of my time making a couple bucks that's cool why not um but yeah anyway i don't really care um Hundreds of fake hate crimes have been reported. Small cat. I don't know who small cat is. But again, hundreds of fake hate crimes may be reported. That's true. Right? Totally factual. Does that mean all of a sudden that slavery never happened? No. And that's a huge leap. Like that is a huge leap. Like, and so if that's, if your argument is that this one fake hate crime and like three or four other fake hate crimes that you're clinging to over the course of the past like eight years, like disprove the mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains of video evidence of white supremacy. I'm sorry. You're an idiot. You're a dullard. You are an idiot. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You are an idiot. There are so many videos of proud boys patriot front patriot prayer right like boogaloo boys at all these protests literally spewing racial epithets at black lives matter protesters but you ignore those those aren't hate crimes whenever someone drives a car through a black lives matter crowd that's not a hate crime right but you focus on these really bizarre culture war things and again it's bizarre it's strange and i could sit here and argue with you all day but i've got other stuff i want to talk about so, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, I don't care. I'm so sorry. I just don't care. I don't care. Um, holy shit. Whew! Fuck me.